called instrument. We call it sarangi. Oh, sarangi. Today I'm exploring Panoti, a charming mid-sized town located just two hours from Kathmandu with a population of over 10,000 people. The surrounding hills are lush with the farming staples of wheat, rice and potatoes. I'm staying with Anita and her mother. Anita will be our guide today. She will be showing us around town as well as sharing insight into local living. Town known for escaping the two largest earthquakes to rock Nepal history. Its old town architecture takes influence from the wooden craftwork of Bhaktapur, and some temples are said to go back as far as the 15th century. Oh yeah, they use yes. that much alcohol. <laughs> oh, goodness, that's alcohol bins. So what are those hats the men are wearing? Uh, that one is Nepali topi, named Thaka topi. Thaka topi. Yeah, and they are worn by old people, and especially in the marriage ceremony, the room they wear that one. Oh yeah. Okay, so it's mildly confusing, but I just bought, uh, Anita just helped me buy um, a SIM card, the, the easy tourist one, we go to the airport and just buy it there. Um, but we're in Panoti right now, and we just bought the SIM card itself for 100 rupees. I loaded 150 rupees on there for 600 megabytes, which is still a little small, but it'll last me for 30 days, and if I want to recharge it, which I probably will within a couple of days, um, then I would just pay more. From 150, get 600 MB internet for 30 days. So that, that's a tikka then? Yeah, in early in the morning, uh, people will sleep early in the morning in the like that in front of the door and in the door, open the door and inside the house. So this is a hundred year old house. People are still living here. Um, you can see right here, um, I guess they placed the tikka over here. Um, as Anita was saying, in the morning, they do um, tikka on the front of the house. So wait, the, the, this is, is this for a typical Nepali height? Yes. Okay. It's like the average Nepali doorway. And yeah, a little, a little <laughs> taller than that. So you have to I think this one is a little shorter too. It comes up to. I think I'd be hitting my head a lot here. Indraspa Temple Square. Uh, the temple is from the 13th century and its name is Indreshwar Mahadev. Uh, there is a god called Indra, the king of God. The god of the Indra is called Indreshwar. Every day in the morning and evening we do worship here. This is almost 800 years old, this temple. Created in the 13th century. Generally, uh, eight years ago we do practice the Kumari culture. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the 80, 80 years, that was uh, lost. And uh, it's just uh, two and a half years that we have uh, again revived the culture of Kumari. You'll find a lot of ducks in Panoti, and that's because they're a religious symbol. They're considered a little sacred as animals which once pulled Lord Vishnu's chariot. Little mohawk duck. A lot of ducks here and like further down. Apparently only one person in this town owns them, and they round them up at the end of the day. I think it must take them a really long time to round them up. There are ducks throughout the entire town. But there is a temple here in which every month they sacrifice a duck. So 
if you're one of these ducks, then you could be a sitting duck and eventually a dead duck. Okay, so this is the Punimata River to Vinikat. Yeah, meeting of three rivers. Uh huh. But you can see only two rivers here. One is can see only once in today's year. In 12 years? Oh, yeah. Once in 12 years? Yes. And at that time we have gone for a festival for a month. So at that time when we take part in this holy river, mm -hmm. it is believed that our sin will be removed. Does it gets higher though, right? <laughs> yes, but there isn't water now. 12 years old. It's a long time to wait, I guess. Huh? Yeah. Oh, oh. Hey, mister, you're rocking the boat. So one of the prime harvests here happen to be not only wheat and rice, but potatoes. Potatoes get harvested every five months, and so the people here are digging up the potatoes, and then they're begging it and sending it off to sell it. So they're weighing the potatoes, and they're gonna load it up. Whoa. It's five o'clock right now, and we're leaving to meet up with the rest of the tour group. Um, and then we'll be heading on to Chitwan. This was a total treat for me to do a homestay. This trip was way, way, way too short. If you're gonna do a homestay, you should be at least factor in, maybe around three days at the least, so you can get an idea of the culture. I feel like it sets my whole perspective of life in a different way. It makes me feel more in touch with my surrounding nature, especially nature. <laughs> <laughs> we are on a 67 hour ride to Chicon right now and yeah, this bus is packed in uh, full of lovers. Um, <laughs> glad I brought my laptop. That'll, that'll keep me company. Traffic is really slow and the potholes are, they can be pretty big. And when they're singing a song, while they're singing, they speak the truth of society. Poverty, education, like the incident happening in Nepal. So they sing in a very nice way. And so they're, they're nomadic. At the beginning they used to be, but not now. So the main purpose they stay along the highway is they go to the bus, they go to the car, and they entertain the like, tourists and the people. If you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up or a like subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet until then travel stay smart and fun i will see you in nepal may the girl be with you